would like to call the Wisconsin Rapids Waterworks and Lighting Commission meeting to order. Uh, to the 2.1 regular commission meeting held on July 10th, 2019. Are there any additions or corrections? I move to approve the minutes as written. I'll second it. Okay. Any other discussion? If not, all in agreement, please say aye. Hi. Okay, action items. Uh, request to sponsor neighborhood table. We've been doing this the past couple years. I think it's a worthwhile cause. So they sent us another request to sponsor one this year. So it's up to the commission. I move for approval. I second the motion. Okay, uh, John Bergen made the motion, and uh, John uh, Harper second. Um, is there any discussion? Do we do volunteer for that as well? Do we? We have in the past, yeah, to help serve and stuff. So once we get a date, we'll see what we have available. If there's no other comments or questions, all in agreement, please say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Thank you. <coughs> okay, uh, the department updates the safety committee. Sean, were you involved with restoration of the utilities at all during the storm? Did uh, you have any involvement with yeah, was, the I was here all week. Okay. All weekend of Saturday, so yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I did a couple of things. Um, okay. uh, yeah, we were usually here we started the day out about six and I usually try to leave by about six. Okay. That night. So Thank you. I didn't realize you were oh, involved so much. Absolutely. Absolutely, my pleasure. So I'm here for it. I think the compliments are in order to the crews to come away without any serious injuries. Right. Huge. Yeah, considering Huge. the conditions. We had some good crews, we had a lot of good people, um, a lot of great linemen, did a lot of hard work all week, so. That on was keeping track of all the mutual aid and people coming and going and making requests, so it was very helpful. Oh, yes. Job well done. Yeah, I have, to, I have to, as a city representative from the city, I have to compliment the electric company because they, they were so hard and I have not had any complaints with regard to it. I mean people are just so pleased with what you've done. I was out of electricity for five, probably five or six days, but I understand that and, and the other, <coughs> my constituents as well as the city understood that. And also we talked to the employee or employees from the city and they said they worked so well with the water and light um, employees out there in the storm and so forth. They, they just hand in glove of cooperation and working together. So I want to thank the employees too. Thank you. Likewise, thank right. you. the employees are very helpful as well. Yeah. Through it all. Yeah, thanks to everyone. <clears throat> are there any other questions? If not, uh, why don't you present a report? Do you have a brief report or are we going to? through the whole week of hours of what you did for the uh, <laughs> July. You know, you know the biggest report of all? <laughs> yeah, he has a one line item in his report regarding the storm. <laughs> his his uh, plot here obviously doesn't count all the trees. <laughs> uh, how extensive is this Bridgewater development work that you're doing? Uh, so right now, I think they're planning 70 lots, um, and we had to relocate um, maybe 10 poles for the new Highway U. So the new Highway U relocation is will be complete this week. And the underground pipe is in, but no wire or anything is pulled in. None of the lots have been sold or so. Is that by the uh, restaurant out there? Yeah, between right. 80 and 64. Mm -hmm. When it's said and done, I think it's about 150 lots and maybe eight condo units. So it's quite a bit of work. If there's no other questions, the water 
department operations? The only question I had is I see this work on the chlorine feed system for collector one. What's the story? Of it? Um, we have some lines that feed the chlorine into the collector itself into the water. And those lines over the years they haven't been changed in a long time. They got brittle. So we got to remove those old lines and put new ones in. So it's just general maintenance on them. Okay. So, so no failure? No. Anything else? If not, call on us the MERS report to provide the report. Compliment, compliments again. Nice work on the receivables. <clears throat> uh, you, had, you said that you're uh, you got like 3,000 calls on the 18th or 21st. Now, is that all people reporting power outages? And, Almost all of them. Yeah. And I take it you just had to be nice, and I know you couldn't <laughs> really give really good information on when you're going to get power up. The staff did a really good job. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, you know, there, there is one thing, you know, when there's a power outage, you know, we talked about, you know, the emergency system, like, you know, we lose power at 3 in the morning. My wife wakes up. I don't know how she knows there's no electricity when she's sleeping, but she jumps <laughs> up. And, you know, we'll call, and... There's always a big, we, we have to call it five, six times before there's an answer at the emergency uh, call center. And I, I take it that's a service that we have. I'll let Matt answer that. He's in charge of the phone. Yeah, so depending on how large the outage is, if it's just your area, so yeah. just a small area, you should be able to get straight through. You shouldn't have any issues. Yeah. But if it's a larger outage, it doesn't even have to be this large. I mean, yeah. it's a couple hundred customers out of power. We only have 25 phone lines that come into the utility. Okay. And during the during an outage, you get 25 people calling in. That 26th first is going to get, gonna, gonna get gonna a get busy phone. signal. Yeah. Okay. A lot of times we will we'll get a uh, a phone. You know, there will be a information uh, uh, recording, and then it kick it would click out. Okay. And uh, you know, it's so, but then after doing this numerous times, all of a sudden you do get it does kick in. Yeah, okay. And are these twenty-five lines coming in? Do they go out to a service? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually, I should say, it's twelve people then, because you have one when you call in and you get kicked out to the call center. That ties up two lines: the one in and the one out. Okay. And it's not a straight transfer. So it just keep keep trying. Then. Yes. Lynn, besides uh, managing all the calls in the office, was also our Facebook presence, so I think she deserves some accolades for that, but she did a great job of posting what updates we could when we had them. So. Great. Thank you. Good job. I know, in, in regards to that, I, I was in a restaurant and heading out golf and I didn't have power yet. And uh, in a restaurant, you know, I heard the nice comments of people, you know, when you could be a fly on the wall and listening. You know, they're good people at Water and Light. They're, they're really trying hard, and they, uh, they all knew that there were 40 utilities coming in. And I, and I, and I asked them, how do you know that? It's all on Facebook. <laughs> so it does work, you know, the, the information gets out. And maybe that, who knows, maybe it cut down a thousand calls. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. <laughs> probably 3,000, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, any other comments? Uh, if not, Director of Finance report. Did we get what we uh, requested for this uh, water rate? Um, I heard back from them this morning and we should have the signed final report tomorrow. So. And the, the amount percent? I'm assuming nothing's changed. They haven't, they haven't um, said otherwise. Okay. So everything went through as planned, so good. But we'll know more tomorrow once we receive the final signed decision. Uh, anything else? Any other comments? 
Um, obviously, budget versus actual for both water and electric car way off target. Do we see uh, any recovery? Um, electric, probably not this year just because of the storm damage and the amount that will get charged to operations and maintenance. Um, water might a little bit, but like how I mentioned how the irrigation revenue is down 40% from what we uh, from last year and kind of what we budgeted, um, that number will probably also be a little bit lower. The other side of it being we budgeted, um, the rate case would have been done by March. Would have been, so those new rates would have been going through the last six months that we didn't have it. So that also is impacting our net income and kind of what we expected to be getting for an operating return. Information systems administrator. Pleased to see that you're looking very carefully at the cellular interface with SCADA from a security standpoint. Yeah, we need to make sure that that stays locked down. And nice comment about Roxanne. Um, she was awesome. That's all I can uh, say. It, it's uh, something when you have 96 people asking for parts and she <laughs> gets it. And she knew exactly what they wanted. That was <laughs> what surprised good. most of them. <laughs> we got many compliments from other people throughout the membership as well about Roxanne and how oh, she great. handled everything. Uh, lots of compliments to her. So That's good. Who knows the utility for having someone like her on staff? Yeah, she did a good job. I also hear through the rumor mill somebody wants to hire our chef too. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we did discuss during a meeting today that if, if Rapids ever has to go out on mutual aid and help another city that we're going to send Ted's trailer with him. <laughs> he set the bar way too high for other utilities to compete with the food that was provided and how the guys were taken care of. There was a plethora of compliments coming from all across the state about how you got the, the utility in Rapids handled everything as a host and really good job. Really, really good job. So they were happy. Very well fed. Every every utility I went to visit, by the way, I'm Mike Shapranko, I'm the safety manager with MBW. Um, every uh, every utility I visited, they all they all said that they came back fatter instead of skinnier. As <laughs> much as we work for them, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Any other comments? If not, conservation manager report. Again, I brought this up before. We have Sean on selling the utility. And it looks like he did a good job again on selling it. What is going to happen? Isn't there going to be some, uh, when it comes to a point where, uh, is it with the G&A costs are going to continue you know, going to be the biggest part of uh, our sales because we have to take care of the infrastructure and because um, everybody is really dropping them. If you're helping them with their consumption, they're helping their business grow. Yeah. Um, so no, I don't think so. I mean, that will be handled through through rate cases and as you recall we're, we're getting some new load now metallica will be up here in about a year or so a year and a half the development in Durham that we talked about before so we're seeing and a lot of stuff's going up in town the city new school the ymca so we're going to be getting a lot of extra consumption we haven't had as well so and, and we want to make sure they're using it efficiently and you said in the past that our biggest uh, requirements for residential users in the city. Correct. I mean, most of our consumption is residential. So the more we get in these developments, the more electricity we're probably going to sell. Correct. So don't get worried yet. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not worried. I'm just wondering. I know everything is 
you know, sometimes you have to change pricing. Yeah. Sean did a good job as well through the storm communicating with our larger customers and kind of get a, letting them, one, appeasing them and trying to find out when the critical nature of their loads were and when they need to be back up and relaying that stuff to Josh. So I think everybody pretty much got back up when they needed to and didn't lose any product or anything. Thank you. Um, and your last uh, item here, communication with TAC, developing your emotional skills and intelligence. I almost added this part of the report, but I didn't. <laughs> 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 you know, I you have to try this firsthand. Actually, yeah. I thought he was going to start counseling the commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> I needed after this last one. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Was, it, was, it was an excellent seminar. I can only recommend it to anyone. Um, I kind of went out on a limb when I guess I asked Jim to, to go to it because um, it's kind of outside the norm, but it definitely would help anyone. It gives you a better understanding of how you, um, I guess, under a stressful situation, how you choose to project yourself. It opened up this touchy feely side. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, we were talking about before about just listening and then going away. <laughs> Sometimes might be the best bet. <laughs> well, good. I, I hope it, it helped you out. Um, any other comments or questions? Uh, Director of Engineering, Electrical Operations. Is this uh, breaker in the uh, water plant a surprise or? Yeah, yeah, it was a surprise. I um, just a molded case circuit breaker that typically don't have problems with, and for no reason whatsoever, one day we came in and we started up the plant, and the larger motors were tripping up the breaker because something had failed in the protection scheme that's intricate to that piece. So um, we were able to find a exact replacement part and have it shipped in within a day, but we needed to run the plant that night to stay with the water needs of a hot summer day, um, which ended up being the hottest day of the summer, I think, that, that I think right before the storm. Um, but it all went well. Uh, you know, we were able to back up all the key IT closets before we took the building down and replace it. It's just a problem that we did that at 3.30 in the morning and then at home at 6.30 and got woke up at 10 saying the storm has just knocked out the whole city. So well, that was the bad news. So, uh, How old was that breaker? Pretty old, I think 1978. So and you found a replacement? Yeah, actually Eaton makes the exact same part still. So the part we found was brand new, surprisingly. That's so, and pretty good service. So so yeah. It lasted from 78. Yeah. Didn't know it much. Yeah. It, yeah, it worked. yeah, it was depreciated right there. <laughs> uh, general manager's report. Oh, by the way, Todd, your report to the Public Service Commission on it. Yeah, pretty good. It's a real nice diary of right. yeah. what happened through the week. Yeah, I, I think you kind of lose track of where you were on Saturday, and then when you start putting it on paper, you're like, wow, <laughs> that was yeah. quite the storm. So There were a lot of commission reports filed on storms <coughs> the night before and that morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not quite like ours, but... Any questions of Jim? Just uh, find it interesting that we're looking at these uh, solar installations and the uh, reciprocal generator that you discussed this morning. So keep us posted. Yeah. And moving forward on both those projects. <coughs> Uh, review of accounts payable. 
Anybody have anything? Question? It looks like we got this got hit somewhat. It's somewhat higher than what we would normally expect for a month. Um, the main reason was uh, the final <coughs> pilot payment was in here for six hundred and thirty seven thousand to the city. Okay. That's the final one for the year? Uh, yes, we do the one in January, the one in April, and the one in July. So and what, I didn't see how big is this one? Uh, six hundred and thirty seven thousand. So all in about one point nine million between the three installments. The other question I had is uh, the uh, Capital call. Mm -hmm. What's that for? Uh, that's ATC's quarterly call that they make for additional capital for their projects. Uh, usually, it's followed, in, you know, the same month with a, a dividend that month, um, which usually more than covers what the capital call is. But I think every year they come up with what their total capital budget is, and then they spread it out over four quarters. And so you don't actually know what the item is. It's one of. It's one of the yeah total amount that they ask for. We don't. Well, if our best investment going by the dividends we get, I think the next day they cut us a check after we cut them a check. And it's uh, if we don't um, take every call in, it dilutes our earnings share. So unless we want to forfeit some of our earnings ratio ATC, then I suggest we continue. No, I'm, yeah, I'm not talking against it. Just the question was, do we know what it was? They don't specify what it's going for. They just ask for it. <laughs> okay. And you said that's quarter. Correct. Right. And they vary from quarter. It's not 94000 every quarter. I think the first one was like 19000 and then the second and third were 94. All I had. All right. Well, then would somebody like to uh, make a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second, second. it. Okay, John and Joe made the motion and second. All in agreement, please say aye. 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 Okay, thanks. <laughs>